Right, pressures of filming, I stabbed myself for one when I was boning this out. I've essentially got a deboned chicken, right? Um, I started stuffing the legs because there's no bones in them legs, so them legs are stuffed. But then, like I say, pressures of filming, I kind of forgot what I wanted to do on the other side of it. So, here it is. So, what I'm going to do is simply turn over the chicken. Like I say, uh, there is a previous video where I did bone this out, so if you want to look at it. So what I'm going to do is make, so I was looking at, just get in, just get in there, look, just pock it under the breast, both sides, long spoon, just get in there, just make, make the hole up. So from there, I'm going to, in fact I'll take the top off that. This is just chicken seasoning, which I'm going to, I'm going to like put all in, in there on the breast, get it all around in there, plenty of chicken seasoning. I feel like an invalid with my thumb. <laughs> Try to keep the video short, but here we go. And just get into that pocket again. Just put it right back, look. In. And scatter that all around. So, that's my chicken seasoning kind of into the breast, as it were. Now, from there, I've got some butter. What I'm going to do is I'll go for the two spoons because I don't want to put. Yeah, okay. I'm going to scrape it off. Uh, yeah, that's going to do. So, right, Joe prepared the butter for me. I'm trying not to contaminate my butter with chicken. We don't chicken. want any cross-contaminations. I know, but I want loads of butter, Joe. So, anyway. Right, so there's my butter. So, I'm going to stick. I'm going to put a big chunk of butter in each side. Oh yeah. Uh, stick one to this side. Oh, <laughs> it's a little bit big. Totally uneven. <laughs> this video is going daft on us, but you're kind of going to get the thing. It's Amaretto's fault. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a normal person. Do you know what I mean? I don't claim to be a chef. Like I say, if I can do this right, then you guys can do this too. We're celebrating Thanksgiving in England. <laughs> a day early, in England. With Amaretto. Well, we've invented Thanksgiving Eve. Just like yeah, Christmas. Yeah, like Christmas Eve. We <laughs> don't do this normally. Yeah. <laughs> but we do for Thanksgiving Eve. Yeah, Thanksgiving Eve. We get Eve. a little bit tipsy and stuff a bird. It's a Thanksgiving Eve. I'm sure if you're in America, you might be stuffing a bird tonight. <laughs> ready for tomorrow. But not, not your missus or a girl, though, don't mean Joe no, there. a chuck. A chicken. A turkey. A turkey, in fact. So anyway, let's get back to thinking now. So I basically. I put the butter on the breast of this side and some chicken seasoning in. So, anyway. Back to the stuffing. Yep. Back to this side. A little bit of meat there. We'll have them two bits of meat. They came out without doing what I was doing. So, the chicken's back like this, look. And my legs are stuffed, yeah? I've already stuffed them. Like I say, I've had to stop. I mean, choppy ball's not really bloody big enough, but you know what I mean. It, it's no problem, so we're doing what we're doing. Now, if you watch the deboning video, you see how I'll come to all of this. So what I've got now is the fillets. I'm going to put the fillets in them gaps, look. Put the meat in, in the gaps there. Arranging Mother Nature a little bit differently, although we were mad to play with it, but whatever. So now essentially what we've got is a layer of skin and a layer of meat. We've got, everything's deboned. It's just, the, I've left the ends on so the skin don't shrink back. when the tips of the legs. Yeah, because if I cut them off, what will happen is the skin will shrink when it's cooking and expose it all. So I've just left them on, I'll cook them later. And now what I'll do, this is like stuffing I've made myself. I will do a video on this one day. This has got like sausage, sausage meat. Um, onion. Yeah, sage and onion stuffing. It's got extra onions in it though and sausage meat. I did slice into the breast earlier to allow that, see that bit there, look, to so allow that to just fold into there, look. So we've got meat literally across it all. 
now so I'm now going to come with, with the stuffing I mean you could just put you know like a big piece of stuffing down the center of it and roll it if you wanted but I'm going to opt for just spreading it all all about across across all of the meat full coverage yeah that's the one I suppose then when you carve in it you're going to get stuff in it's going to be rolled in it you know. every slice yeah so here's what we're going to do so just get that stuffing on there and this stuffing is delightful like I say I will do a video on it so plenty of stuffing all over just watch them fillets You can obviously do this, this, like I say, you have to watch the previous video, it was 20 minutes long, you know, when I boned it out. I mean, you can do it really quick when you know what you're doing with it, but it's the first time I've ever tried it. And at the end of the day, I've got a chicken without any bones in, so I got there. And if I can do it, you can do it. So, but you, this, this goes the same for any type of bird. You could do this with turkeys, you know, Duck. pheasants, quails, ducks, whatever. Bird's a bird, isn't it, at the end of the day. So, let's have all of that on there. I still forgot to salt and pepper it. Oh my god. Today's not going too well at all. Amaretto's fault. I should have salt and peppered the meat really and truly before I've done this, but it's just this is one of them videos. Could it's you just, salt and pepper it now? Would it? Mm, you could do. It's not going so great though. <laughs> is it? Um, no, I'm not going to bother. I mean, it there probably is seasoning in the stuffing, to be fair, is there? Yeah, there's loads of seasoning. So, and it, it, obviously, we've got the seasoning on the other side, haven't we? The chicken seasoning has got salt in it. Yeah. So, kind of is what it is, isn't it? Mm, saying that. He can't help himself. He can't help himself. Bit of pepper. Yeah. I would have liked to have put this on the actual meat before, before I did it. I'm not going to bother with salt. I'll just put a little bit of pepper in there. It's kind of is what it is. So. Now. Now then, so... Now we need to roll it, don't we? So, obviously what I'm going to try and do now then is literally just fold it, fold it in. I tell you what, fold it, if I fold that more than half, like this, stretch that round, yeah? And then do the same that side. Oh, she's quite a fat bird. <laughs> nice. Food. <laughs> and we're gonna tuck that up there, look. And we'll do. We've got that like that. And then if we roll that over, oh a splits of skin. <gasps> Devoed. It's all the messing about we've done with it. Then what my plan is like that then to, to, to cross cross the bit of gutted about that, but not to worry. So we do In that In effect lot. it looks a bit like a crown with the legs on. Yeah, so we do it like that. Got the butter in, look, you can see. Lovely. The butter and seasoning there. So now then, the string. Can I just wash my hands? Let's pause it while I just wash my hands a second. Right, I've washed my hands, I'm good. So here we are, like this. So I, I am going to salt salt and pepper the outside of it now. No, I should have put butter on first. Do you know what, today's a bad day. It's one of them days. It's one of them days where things are just... Things are just are what they are. It's just calamities. Look, listen, I'm a real person doing real stuff. I'm not trying to claim that I'm any greater than anyone else. You know what I mean? I'm just doing what I'm doing. So, look, this is just an idea. Just my take on a chicken. So, I'm just going to put a bit of butter on, on its skin, just like this. And it's outside. Why not? Nice as not. A little bit on its legs as well. I suppose this would make a reasonable Christmas dinner with a turkey, though, wouldn't it? If you yeah. want to get to all this trouble, though, I mean, look, it's like that. It depends, doesn't it? I mean, I actually like doing this. I really do like doing this. So it's no hardship to me, to be honest with you. It's more of an hardship to you, Jodie, filming it, isn't it? <laughs> if I'm honest. It's hard to being a camera woman. <laughs> I yeah, actually like doing this. not very good. I like doing this. I mean, I take a lot of pride. This, you know, it's going to be nice, isn't it? It's got yeah. no bones in. It's going to carve lovely. So, anyway, so we've done that. I am going to put some pepper on it. I'd like to put that on the meat on the inside. I just kind of forgot. You know what I mean? I'm human at the end of the day. I'm also a master though. 
But if my name was Reality Shaker, well, if I was called Master Shaker, do you think that just sounds wrong? <laughs> no anyway. comment. <laughs> so anyway, right, I want to put some salt on it also. I'll let your viewers comment on that for you. <laughs> What, Master Shaker? What, Master Shaker? I don't <laughs> think of that as a name. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> let's behave for a minute. So I've got, I've got this far. Now the idea is then to coin it with some streaky bacon. So the thing was, I couldn't help myself. I did find this and it's got loads of meat on it. You had to find the least streaky bacon you could possibly find. I couldn't resist buying meat. I don't want to buy fat, Joe. I want to buy meat. That's the whole point of streaky bacon. I know, but I couldn't help myself. I'll use the streaky bits for this and we'll save them bits for a sandwich. You're bonkers. I know. So, I'm literally going to... I've got to stop using the word literally, aren't I? I'm always saying literally, I know, just when I watch my video Literally back. carry on. Yeah, I'm going to literally carry on. So, I'm just going to put bacon on it like that, as well, to protect the breast. My plaster's coming off. I need to get some TCP on that, and I've done. This looks lovely. Yeah, it is going to be quite That's nice, actually. Professional. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't have seen that if you've seen the bone in that video. <laughs> You're professional too. I couldn't do it. The point is, I've ended up with boned out chicken. It's the first time yeah. I've ever done it. it, it deceiving as well. I know we've got the stuffing in it, but to me, it looks a lot bigger than you think a boned out chicken would look. Considering you get a chicken and it's hollow. Yeah. It looks a lot bigger than you would think the meat would look. No, I'm just going to carry on doing it that way. Just put something nice on there. Look, this is obviously going to help base the chicken, isn't it? And protect. Protect. So now, it, now we're like that. Oh, look. I want to cross its legs. Like a girl should be. Save its grace. Legs crossed. So, <laughs> behave. Right, so <laughs> what I want to do now is... Me? I'm going to... Come <laughs> to do, this video is crazy, isn't it? Look, this is me and Joe, real world, real life. We're just laughing and joking. You know, it, it matters not. I'm not even apologising for it. We're just doing I'm not even going to tell you what I just found in the oven when I put it on. <laughs> right, so, I'm going to come like this with it. So, I'm going to come around. so what I want to do is tie, tie my feet at the end, like this. Oop. I broke its legs and this is making it a problem. <laughs> There's no stiffness. <laughs> yeah. Oop. Do, 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 do. Sorry, singing music's on the radio. So I'm going to tie its legs there, look like that. Let's put a knot in it. I've left a bit of string, look, on it. So, what we can do here now is. Now I can hold them up. So what I want to do, let's see if we can get this knot right now. <laughs> so I need loads of string. Hang on. And the idea is, look, you, you form, you form a loop like that. Can, can you get that on video? Do you get yeah. it? Mm -hmm. so simply like that, look. So this this bottom string's under. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so I'm saying. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I'm agreeing. And then we, we slide it down. And what we can do is we can e ease that round now as we pull that, pull that up, look. We've got it like that. Profesh. And the same again, look. Keep that taut. Slide that one under again. Like taut lot, ease that round. The best drums ever on the radio. I don't know if you can hear them on the video. It's Genesis. Yeah. Oh Lord. oh Lord. And we just basically keep on going like that. Oh, all, all we're doing. You can see what we're doing. I'm just we're getting it. Kind I'm looping. Looping this bits under. It's skin. Oh no. You're so professional. <laughs> <laughs> Do you 
See, I, I would normally have Jodie helping me on this part. The camera woman, I'm quite glad I'm the camera woman. So anyway, so I'm good, look. I'm just ease that into place all the time. And then what we're doing is this, look, you see? So we just pull that tight. You don't need too tight, because it depends what type of stuffing you've got in it. If you've got a wet stuffing, it's going to make it spill out. I mean, we've got a relatively dry stuffing, so we're okay. So. I'll just keep on going like this. Nice, even spaces. Oh. Yeah. Strings twisting somewhat wicked, isn't it? <laughs> There, we need a there now. Thanks, Jen. I'm going to keep going like that. There's a couple more to do. It does look good, must admit. That's impressive. It's hard doing it on camera, innit? Just one take, you know, like you said to something you can do, and then all of a sudden you, you put a camera in front of you, and it's like it's, totally, it's a game changer. So, Pressure. That, I know the people that watch my channel, and that they're my friends anyway, they understand where I'm coming from. It's no problem. It's real people, it's real, this is real life, this is our real tea yeah. tonight. Real people, real world, real this tea. Is what we're eating for our tea. It's just so it's kind of looking good. So, then it does from, look good, must from, admit. From this point up, then you can just roll it over, yeah. Roll her over, and then what you want to do is what we're going to do now because we're going to come back here a bit, but we're going to wrap that around. So, what I'll do is I'll just cut. Can you just pull that tight for me, Joe, please? I'm just going to give myself plenty, make sure I don't run out. And what I'm going to do, look, space that a touch. The plaster's coming off and everything, look, as it does. So I'm just going to literally go under, under, under each one, look, like so. Keep it tight. Just, just lift each one at the t as I go. So it's just it's basically almost like a carbon copy of the top now. Just keep coming down. And forgive my plaster coming off. I mean it's gonna come straight off anyway when I've done this. And I'm gonna just go under all the time. I'm sorry about the long video guys, but you know. One of things needs must sometimes. Yeah, I'm just at own cut. Worth it, I think, though. It looks impressive, and I do believe it will taste. It, as will, impressive. Ta it will taste nice. Especially so with ve vegetables, mashed potatoes, roast potatoes, eh, so Yeah, no chips. <laughs> so I've got to there, look again now, so I'll keep that tight. And I can I can just roll roll her back, look. Oh. Delicately, because she's a lady. Roll her back. Then, obviously, the string I left at the start, look. Back where it started. I can just tie a knot in it now. Beautiful. There we go. Get the knife. Cut it. There you go, have it. Now look at that. So that. It does I mean, look really good, I must admit. That would make a nice meal on. I mean, if it was a turkey for Christmas, I mean, that'd be like. But obviously, remember now that there's no bones in that at all, is there? So, so I can just go when straight. it's done, we're just carving. It does look big as well. I'm I'm shocked at how big it looks for a chicken that's deboned. Do you think I could get Do you think I could get a Michelin star for that, Jude? Maybe half. I could be like Gordon Ramsay. You could. Less shouty though. Less shouty. He likes to shout. Gordon oh yeah, Ramsay he swears a lot too, doesn't he? So do you. Yeah, I don't know. All More right, drink then. and less shouting. <laughs> anyway, let's end the video now. We'll cook it. We're going to roast this for what? I'm going to roast this for probably an hour and 15 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. Oh, she smells lovely. And on... <laughs> uh, I can't help stroke it. It's my masterpiece. Uh, on um, 180 degrees, but I will test it with a thermometer because I want it to be juicy, yeah, nice. You do have to be careful, so especially good. when you're stuffing things to make sure it's cooked. Yeah, there's no bones in it, though, so... But, yeah, we don't want poison. No, I won't poison you, love. But we're desperate to eat it as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh. See you in a bit. Stop stroking the bird. <laughs> Bye now. Bye.